Hello again and welcome to a new video. This is our 71 plate, registered October 2021, Toyota Hilux, double cab, Invincible X. This is the auto. This is a VAT paid vehicle. So there is no VAT to pay back. There's no additional VAT on the price either. Now the cars cover just 8,766 miles with its first service with Toyota being completed, which is very important because these cars come with a five year warranty, but if serviced regularly every 10,000 miles, 12 months with Toyota, they would extend that warranty uh, 12 months at a time, right the way up to a total of 10 years or 100,000 miles. So very important to have that service history, as I say. Um, now I'm trying to remember the color, I think it's Takuma Grey. It's a lovely metallic color with lots of different sort of colors in the sparkle. We fitted some optional extras or accessories onto this vehicle. The whole vehicle has been machine polished, like all of the cars here that we present, so it's come up like brand new. Now on this model, the Invincible X, top of the range, we get front parking sensors down on the corners here near those LED fog lights uh, on both corners. And uh, the display shows uh, amongst the clocks in front of the steering wheel. You've got rear camera. Now we've, if I just come around and show you the middle section. Now we've put the um, EGR bonnet guard on and to balance the front of the vehicle, we've put the Predator bar on the front down here, which sort of follows the shape of the front bumper and gives a bit of protection down there. As you can see, everything is in really nice condition. And then the chrome trim up here, in fact, this was done by the previous owner, has had a, a wrap on it just to cover the chrome, which really finishes the look of the front of the vehicle. I'll just bring you around this side so you can see there's no damage, not even on the plastics. There's no scuffs on the vehicle at all. And if we come up onto the bonnet, it's gonna bring you across like so. I think that's just a watermark there. Yes, it is. Bring you across, you can see there's no damage. And that shine, it's not very sunny outside today. So we're relying on the bright lights in the showroom, but there are no marks on this bonnet. If we come up and look at the windscreen, there's no marks up there. And then if we come forward up onto the roof, all in lovely condition up there. Now we've also fitted the, and these are the Toyota wind deflectors. It had some wind deflectors that sort of sat inside each separate window, but they don't really look that nice. I think these ones are much nicer. It sort of flows down the line of the side of the car. And they're really handy when you want the window open a crack. It stops that buffeting of air, and especially if it's a bit rainy outside. Now on this one, you've also got the black side steps. If I want to do, I'll bring you down so we can look down the side of the vehicle. If I just move the camera up and down, I know we've got the reflection of the units behind and the carpets on the floor, but the panels are really nice. All of the wheels are immaculate, running on the Bridgestone Jewelers. And then we've got this side step fitted from factory that runs all the way down the side. And there's no marks on there all of the trims, we've got the black trims and the black tail sort of gray handles. We've got keyless entry, the little button there. You can see all the door edges. I come back along here slowly. You can see that there's no damage. It's come up like brand new all the way to the back. And while we're here, I'll just show you this rear wheel. And if you look behind the wheel, all in lovely condition as well. Now, one thing the gentleman did change is he's changed the rear lights um, for a smoked LED light, which you can buy. I think they really look nice on this color. Sort of it all merges in nicely together. You've got a tow bar on the back there as well. 
And then the roller shutter was fitted from new with the bar from Toyota. Just gonna come back out and show you the vehicle from the side profile. Just get a good look. And with the bar on the back and the bar at the front, it sort of balances it all up. And if we come up onto the top here, uh, there's a choice of uh, the stainless top or the black. Obviously, this looks much better with the black and the bars to match. Light lens, I'll just show you down that side while we're here. We'll do the wheels in a minute. I just want to show you around. There's no damage on these re rear bumper panels. Got rear parking sensors, obviously the camera just up in there. Rear brake light, tow bar. Now, also there's um, a protective strip running along the top there. Well worth having. Now, if you watch, when we open the back, I can let go. So the other thing that we fitted is a lift and damper kit. So the damper, which is fitted on the side here, allows it to drop gently. But this torsion bar that runs, you have to take the sort of tailgate off to fit all this, all the way along and goes into the tailgate there. There's a plate in here which it pushes against so it doesn't damage the back of the car. And when we go to lift, we can literally lift it with a couple of fingers. Maybe not one finger, you might bend your finger back unless you've got really strong fingers. <laughs> but, uh, makes a huge difference. So when you want to pull the back up and like I say, just pull it out. Otherwise that would just come crashing down. So we'll open this up. In fact, I found the other day, it's easier to lock it that way. Like so. And just down in this corner, there's a nut that you can twist and it changes the um, tension of which the roller will pull back into the cassette, as they call it. So you can adjust that if need be. Now we've got the Linex coating on the bed. My favourite, mainly because, as I've said in other videos, the plastic liners, um, they're just sitting on top of the base of the, of the, you know, the load area, and stones can get up underneath it, and they just move around underneath, and when you put stuff in the back, it's pushing down on it, it scratches through the paintwork, and if you were to take the tray out, you'll just find that the whole bed has been scratched up and going rusty. Now with this Linex finish, this sort of plastic, plasticized paint, which is very hard wearing, very easy to clean as well, you can just jet wash it out. Because it's direct to the paint surface, nothing's getting underneath it and it's totally protected. So a much better system in my opinion. And as you can see, everything's coated inside. Really nice and easy. Gives a little bit of grip for the rear as well, for anything you want to put in. So I'll just come back out and show you the whole back of the vehicle. And we only buy these vehicles when they're in really nice condition. We're not looking to buy any that have um, had hard use. And like I say, this is a plastic strip fitted on here, but um, nice and thick, so it'll take any, you know, knocks. Okay, so that's, um, we're just gonna check how many pins this plug socket was. So I think that is the 13 pin, that one. So we've got the 13 pin there. All of these lights have been machine polished, come up like new again. And then if we look down the side of the vehicle, like I say, all the wheel arches, wheels, all inside the arches. Again, the step, if we look down the side of the vehicle, no scuffs on there. All of the panels, really nice. Let's show you this front wheel. No marks on there. And if I come back out, see the vehicle from this side. 
Really nice colour combination, this one, with the black and the grey, with all the bits that we've put on as well. Okay, so we'll take a look inside now. Just wanted to show you around the car one more time. So, like I say, you can either lock the car, unlock it. We've got the JBL sound system in the Invincible X. So really nice depth, you know, in the sound quality. All of the door cards are in really nice condition. There's no damage. You always get little light scratches on these stainless plates. It's just, it's on all of them, no matter what the mileage seems to be. All this side, I think we've got the cubby hole here with a little um, air conditioning vent on the side there. Got all the books, locking wheel nut. All of the leather, the perforated leather, we've got the mats and just want to show you under here, all in lovely condition. If I bring you around, show you this seat, headlining, center armrest. This has also got, they don't all have this, I think it's an option but it's got the, the Wi-Fi as well connection in there. And got gear section, power modes. And we'll see more of that when we come around the other side, actually, I think there's too much light there, but I'll just come back out a little bit. There we go. Show you the lever on the driver's side from here as well, while we're here. Okay, let's take a look in the back. Again, the door card, all in really nice condition. What you'll find on some of these vehicles, you know, people using them for building work and that, they've got stuff in their hands, they're gonna shut the door, and you'll get lots of scratches in here and dig marks where they've put stuff in the back. And you know, there's a contrast between a really nice example that's been like privately used pretty much to someone that's uh, used it for its purpose really. But a lot of people are choosing to buy these now on their business instead of a car because of the gains in the tax that you pay for a company car. I think these classes are commercial. So it's 3,800 off your tax allowance. So depending on what your tax is, it's a lot cheaper than having a car. Now the other thing, there's a strap just down here. Now on the Hiluxes, the Toyotas, these are split. So this strap, you can hold it up, clip it onto the headrest, and then you can use this for the back of the car. You've also got a little cubby hole under there for storage. Sorry, the phone was, uh, the camera was slipping out of my hand. So let's just come back out, show you. And you've got all the Isofix and the top tether for child seats. And there's three seat belts across the back. So essentially a five seater vehicle. Let's open up the pass, uh, sorry, offside rear. Again, as you can see, door card all in lovely condition. Carpets, over mats. And then we've got the center armrest, cup holders, seat belt in the center there, all of the leather. It's just where I've lent on there. Every time I get in and push down with my elbow on there, it leaves an impression that if you just do that and then it disappears after about 30 seconds to a minute. So all lovely in there. While we're here, door edges, nothing on there. Let's just turn those lights off for a second. Okay, so we've got electric folding mirrors, which you can set, I think you can fold them in with the key, but it's very easy to fold them in with the buttons just on the door here. So 
Sorry, something just came up on my phone, but I just realized the video is still running. Okay, so folding mirrors here with that switch. Now I'll just do round the, sorry, we've lost a bit of focus there. So there's the footwell. If I just lift that carpet up, no wear under there. Like I say, this was private owned. This seat is electric on this side. We come up onto the top, the bolsters, all in really nice condition. All the seat belts are really clean, no, no marks. All of the leather on the armrest. Now, what was it I was gonna show you? So, ah, so we've got various different buttons here. We've got the preheat button at the top there to warm the vehicle up quicker. We've got the DPF filter on there. So when the vehicle's clean, you can uh, carry on cleaning the DPF and that's for the front parking sensors. We've got cruise control. Now it is uh, adaptive cruise control using this button here. Lane assist, we've got collision prevention system. In fact, if I jump in now, probably the best thing to do is to start it up. Now, I'll just wait for that to load on the screen. 8,766 miles. Now these buttons over here, like I say, this is the lane assist. If I press on that one, see it comes up. Now your assist active. Now if we go uh, using these buttons here, if we go across, if you look at the top of the screen there, if we were to come down on those buttons, you flick through your MPGs and stuff like that in that window. And also this shows you where the wheels are pointing. And if we go over to the right, we've got the compass and navigation, audio, um, information display, messages, and then in the settings, we'll enter into the settings, lane departure assist. Now yours is on, I'm gonna turn that off. So when that's on, Basically, if you're going down the motor or going down the road and you don't indicate to move lane, the steering will take over and pull you back into the lane. So if you're driving late at night, um, pop that on and uh, it'll keep you in the lane. If, you, if you're using it and you indicate, it won't affect the steering at all. And then below that, you've got the sensitivity for it. You've got a sway warning, etc. So that's come out of there. This is your collision control and you can set the sensitivity in there. You come down onto the next screen, press the center button, and then you can adjust that. Um, this is um, road speed um, display. It shows you the speed of the road that you're on. And then the last one is the to do with the uh, radar cruise control, dynamic radar cruise control, which will turn on and then if you're using the cruise control which will turn it on down here radar ready and that's where you can adjust how close or far away from the car in front you want to be come out of there and that's pretty much sums up what's on the screen there now over here we've got the main screen of course uh, it's just it's on with there We'll turn that down because we don't want to disturb YouTube. Now we've got, um, where is it, map over here, which you can have in full screen. You can change the view for the map, etc. There are apps in here, Toyota apps as well. If we go, is it menu? There we go. Set up um, apps. You can link up with the uh, Toyota system. Let's go back menu. I think is it okay so and you can change display etc in there or you can go so I've been driving the uh, the other one which has got a different display in it and then Wi-Fi online and then down here we've got two 12 volt sockets 
and then just behind here we've got a USB and auxiliary we've got the heated seats stop start off we've got the um, like hill descent full -wheel drive system for diff lock and then up here we've got the four wheel drive for high four low four wheel drive and then with these buttons here this will do the volume and the radio controls as well um, looking down here we've got the eco and power mode which definitely have a purpose in this car uh, if you put it into eco pro you will definitely get more fuel economy it feels a little bit flatter on the throttle and power mode you will just feel the the difference with that is quite um obvious the difference when driving with that the other thing i'm just checking with my hand before we put it in there we've got a you can't really see actually but there's a i think i'm not too sure if it's a three pin or a two pin 100 volt what uh plug in there and as i already mentioned the wi-fi there right i'm gonna give a two for darius he's kindly gonna come and lift the bonnet up for me so we can show you under the engine bay now this to say is a 2.8 so it's running just over 200 brake horsepower thank you darius now this is a real big improvement on the 2.4 for power. Really nice, clean engine bay. You can hear it ticking over really nicely there. Let's bring you up to the top. Let's bring you round a little bit. All nice and clean under here. So plenty of power. I think on a, you know, a 65, 70 mile an hour on the motorway, you sort of get on one of these around about sort of anywhere between 28 and 30. If you go into Eco Pro, you're going to be more or Eco mode around just under the 30. Or just you can get more, a little bit more, but try to be realistic about what people will get, like without trying too hard. Close this down. Always good to sort of bring it down there, quite heavy these, and just drop it from there and it will just find its way nicely down. You don't want to be pushing on top of the bonnet. So, really nice example there of uh, this Toyota Hilux double cab Invincible X Auto. Nice low mileage, all ready to go. Some really nice accessories on the vehicle that make it stand out. So if you have any questions about finance or anything about the vehicle, um, please get in touch. I'll be happy to talk to you. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Look forward to speaking to you. Take care. Bye.